everyone. Welcome back to Tune Up Tuesday here in the O-Town. I'm Jennifer Clark, your host for another episode of Jen's Zen. Jen's Zen, as many of you know, was a live TV show here at Rogers 22 in the local area, uh, Ottawa area, and we moved it over online to reach a wider demographic. It's a show where we put the soul back in the solutions one uh, telephone call, one, one question at a time. But today's show is a little different. We're doing actually an online meditation. So anytime there's a, an astrological event like a moon cycle, um, energy starts to change, shift. Uh, the moons regulate uh, the tides, uh, the female cycles. Uh, if you're a police officer or a nurse in an emergency room, you know it's a full moon outside. Today's experience is all going to be a guided journey. And for those of you who've never had a guided journey, it's a very, very simple and easy, fun experience where you're listening to the sound of my voice. Uh, your eyes are going to be closed in a minute and you're just going to relax. It always is fun to play some soft music uh, if you have access to music and uh, instrumental, of course, is best. Uh, you don't necessarily need music to do this. I've done guided journeys uh, in a bus, uh, sorry, on a bus, um, you know, in a bathroom, um, in traffic, wherever you are, uh, when you're trained, when you can go in and out quickly, uh, it's a lot of fun to access the inner world, uh, the cosmic realms that are all around us. So my journeys, it's not really meditation. Meditation in the purest Buddhist sense of meditation is clear your mind, no thoughts. I can't do that, so I can't teach that. And again, in 20 years, I've just accepted that it's not really my thing, but am I good at uh, guided journeys, guided meditation, what's called cosmic mindfulness. So cosmic mindfulness or a guided journey is more using metaphors, uh, characters, uh, mythology, um, angels. Um, in fact, we're going to be using um, dragons and uh, unicorns and angels today. Now, again, you're like, what? What's she talking about? Yes, I am saying this in a very sane, responsible way that they all do exist. So angels, dragons, and unicorns come from the same vibrational uh, source. They're very, very high, uh, what's called Christed or Buddhic beings. Uh, they vibrate with very high level of magic, innocence, and quantum love. Um, most of you have heard about angels, and, you know, in our cultures, we see angels all over. Uh, Asian um, traditions also talk about dragons, um, and, of course, magical um, realms or stories or fairy tales talk about unicorns. But what's interesting is they all actually fit together. They all actually work together. The dragons would actually work to remove the negativity off of the planet or off of the human. The angels would so, sort of support emotions and balancing. And the um, unicorn energy would bring magic, hope, innocence, uh, wonder back to the person. So when you actually work with all three of them together, it's quite powerful. And again, I've had people walk into my uh, meditation uh, live events in Ottawa laugh out loud when they hear what I'm talking about and think I'm crazy. But by the end of the night, they'll come to me and say, okay, you know what? I had an experience that was really cool. Um, thank you very much. So all you need today is an open mind and an open heart. And uh, if you want to play and have some fun, we're going to go to go dive deep, access the grandmother moon energy that's all around us already. And uh, using some of these fun, cool uh, characters, uh, from the mystical and magical realms helping you evolve. It's all about right now resurrection. It's all about reclaiming power, uh, standing in your power, speaking your truth. The one and the one of the 11 is, whether it's your male and your female as an individual, working with uh, partnerships, which could be romantic or, or business partnerships or collaborations. But it's also standing strong, standing focused and moving forward. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start the process, and it's really short. So a couple things. You cannot be operating any machinery while you're doing this, okay? i got to kind of say that as a former risk manager. Uh, don't be driving the car when you're doing this, okay? Other than that, um, sitting down, lying down, wherever you can feel safe and quiet for about 20, yeah, 20 minutes or so, that would be great. And we'll go from there. Eyes are closed. Body is relaxed and soft which means you're open. You're just not, you're not tense. You're, you're letting go of any stress or worries. Uh, your mind is open to hearing or feeling or experiencing something. 
though some things could be temperature changes. It could be um, seeing colors, uh, feeling prickly on your skin, feeling like you're not alone in the room. Um, some of you who are very intuitive, of course, are going to see um, images and visions and all kinds of stuff. So it really depends on how intuitive and open you already are. Uh, you'll be more so after this meditation. And um, even if you're starting from zero, something is going to happen to you. Uh, so just be open to that process. Be open and be ready. Always, always understand you have complete control over the process. I'm not doing anything to you. I'm holding space. I'm doing the energy work here on my end, uh, offering it out uh, over the Internet here to you. Um, you have to take it and receive it for it to work. So I, you know, have no control over this. You are in control. So, you know, know that you're safe and um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you're ready, uh, because I don't have any copyrighted music, I can't believe that. Um, I'm not going to play music. But if you're ready to play some music at home, you know, play some instrumental music right now, wherever you are. And I want you to just sort of, if you're sitting down, you're going to have your feet flat on the floor and your palms up on your lap, okay? And your eyes are going to be closed. And I want you to just start breathing in and out deeply. And inhale for a count of five, hold and exhale for a count of five. And keep doing that rhythmical breathing up and down as much as you can until I say stop. So deep breaths in, hold, exhale and hold. Inhale, hold, exhale, and hold. And keep doing that on your own. Deep breaths in and out. I'd like you to feel your chest rise as you breathe deeply and fall as you exhale. Wherever you are in life, However happy or sad, I just want you to, for this moment to let go of the present, of the past, and the future. With your breath, feel released, relief, and surrender. Again, deep breaths in and out. And as you start to release and let go, your body feels soft and supple and open. Please place your left hand palm down on the center of your chest. And I just want you to feel your body rise and collapse up and down with your breath. And imagine pink fire healing energy can flow out of your hand into your chest. Pink fire is unconditional love. And be like a sponge. And with every breath in and out, breathe in pink fire and breathe out pink fire. Fill up your bubble with pink fire healing energy, just like a gas tank can fill up with fuel. And lower your hand back on your lap, palm up. And now I'd like you to just connect to the earth. Imagine roots of a great ancient tree flowing out of your feet. And set that intention that you're now connecting to Mother Earth. Her name is Gaia. She's a planetary angel. She's a sentient being. People call her Panchamama, Mother Earth, Terra Gaia. And just with intention and imagination, connect to her beneath you. Four feet beneath your feet, was what a, is a, a chakra called the Earth Star. Imagine your roots connecting to your Earth Star, which is four feet beneath 
your feet under the ground. Through the rock, soil, and bedrock, the concrete of wherever you are. And in your mind's eye, I want you to energize your own earth star. Imagine it like, uh, perhaps like a basketball size. And energize with pink fire healing energy, your earth star. Keep breathing up and down. And when your earth star feels full, bright and light, send the energy down to the center of the earth. Perhaps imagine the Earth's core as a big sun, fireball. Again, with intention and imagination, connect your roots to the center of the Earth. But this fire is called sacred fire, holy fire. It does not burn. And when you connect to the center of the Earth, she shoots up her love, mother energy, mother nature. And with your up breath, your in breath, bring her energy back up, 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 and energize your own earth star. Send energy down to your earth star, four feet below your feet, to the center of the earth, and bring the center of the earth back up to your earth star. Again, you're breathing in and out. And on your up breath, I want you to bring your energy back up. Through the legs, ankles, knees, thighs, buttocks, hips, and all the way back up to the center of your chest where your hand was. The center of your chest is your heart chakra for what's called the heart star. So now breathing from the center of the chest, send energy down all the way to the center of the earth and loop back up to the center of your chest, your heart star. And imagine your heart star as a small grapefruit size orb of light. Still imagine your pink fire healing energy running the energy circuit up and down through you. And imagine your heart full and bright and beautiful and clean and clear, full of electric pink fire. And now you're going to send the energy up through your throat, third eye, crown, and four feet above the top of your head is called the soul star. Send your energy from your heart to your soul star, four feet above your head. Imagine that perhaps like a, a dragon's egg, an ostrich egg. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out, and energize that space with pink fire. Keep breathing in and out, up and down, sending love. To your heart, earth star, earth star, heart, heart, soul star. Keep breathing up and down, making sure your soul star is also bright and fiery and full and clean and clear. We're using the breath, the mind, the intention and imagination to do this. And now that you're feeling stronger and fuller, we're sending the energy even higher to source energy. Imagine perhaps our physical sun as a representation of the great central sun, creator. So send your energy up higher and higher and higher out of the roof of the building you're in, out of into the sky, out of the earth's atmosphere, higher and higher and higher, all the way up to the sun. And again, this sun is holy fire, sacred fire. It does not burn. And when the higher beings uh, like Helios and Vesta in our physical sun recognize your signature, they send their love and energy back down, down, down. 
filling up your soul star, going all the way down to your heart, through your body, down your feet to your earth star, and looping back down to the center of the earth. We're creating a Taurus field here. And with breath, imagination, and intention, we want to connect all the major points and how we walk on Earth as a cosmic being. The heart goes down to the, uh, to the um, Earth star. The Earth star connects to the center of the Earth. Center of the Earth sends energy back up. The Earth Star, Earth Star sends energy back up to the heart. Heart sends energy up to the Soul Star. And even higher to the physical sun above us. And comes all the way back down to the Soul Star and heart. Sending energy back down to the Earth. Keep breathing. Breath is really, really important for these types of meditations. It might feel silly or awkward to breathe this way, but you want to hear your breath exhale and you want to feel your chest rise and fall as you breathe. Now, at some point, a lot of you are going to be feeling um, buzzy, uh, tingly or warm at this stage. And that's all normal. That's all part of the reconnection. I'd like you to place your mindfulness, your attention on the physical sun above you. And from this physical sun, you will each call out one angel, one unicorn, and one dragon, which are all part of the same higher vibration frequency of cosmic love, magic, and innocence. But I've been... Uh, offering you a team, a team of an angel, a dragon, and a unicorn. And imagine in your own way, using imagination only, you are you seeing and envisioning and feeling and knowing that standing beside you and around you right now is a beautiful angel, whatever shape or form they take, could be a child, man, woman, metaphor, could be an animal, could be a being of light, could be a shape, a sacred geometry figure, could be a feeling. Then comes the unicorn, with or without wings, with or without a horn, it's always up to them to show you in your mind's eye how they're going to reveal themselves. It's essentially a horse, usually with a horn and with wings, but it depends on each person's particular choice and what unicorn has come to visit them. Then in your mind's eye, turn to the dragon, a being of pure fire healing energy. Pure light, quantum love, magic, movement, creativity. In your own way, I want you to personalize these beings. Give them color, shape, form. What does your angel look like in your mind's eye? What does it feel like? What does the unicorn look like, feel like? What does the dragon look like or feel like? If you had to guess, and just for now, use imagination. Keep breathing in and out and expand your bubble. So with your breath, 
you can receive the energies of this trio, this trifecta of divine magic. They will form a pyramid around you. The angel will stand in front of you, in front of your heart. The unicorn will be to your left, your left hip almost. And the dragon will be on your right, your right hip. But forming a perfect triangle of energy around you, a pyramid of power. And from the center of their hearts, their chest, and just guess where that might be. They form rainbow fire healing energy triangle around each of you. It's called a pyramid of power, rainbow fire healing energy shoots out from the angel to the unicorn, to the unicorn to the dragon, from the dragon back to the angel. You are standing or sitting safely in the center of this beautiful pyramid of power. Just know that this is happening. Do your best to imagine it happening. And allow your body to be soft and accept the invisible energy changes. Now, each of them are going to send their energy to you and fill up the triangle with the rainbow fire healing energy. So from all sides, I want you now to switch the color to rainbow fire healing energy. To breathe in rainbow fire and to breathe out rainbow fire. Fill up your pyramid of power. with the seven sacred rays of the seven rainbows, of the seven archangels, the seven mighty Elohim, the seven sacred rays, the seven sacred days, the seven directions, the seven animals, the seven elements. The rainbow represents the sacred seven and all its elemental qualities. And I just want you to be like a sponge right now. Just absorb and fill up. Keep your mind open and allowing and accepting of what is, even though you may not understand it all. I want you to reconnect to the planet Earth. Focus for a minute on your feet, please. On your Earth star, four feet below you, and the center of the Earth below all of it. Send energy down through your roots to Mother Earth and let her reconnect back to the center of your chest, your heart star. And send energy up to your soul star four feet above your head, all the way up to our physical sun once again. The physical sun greets you and sends energy back down to your soul star and to your heart. Keep breathing in and out. Refocus back on the pyramid of power, the triangle of rainbow fire healing energy. You're the apex, you're standing in the center of this powerful pyramid of power. Some of you are going to start to feel electric, a little loopy perhaps. Keep connecting to the earth knowing that you're safe and grounded. We now connect and move our energy over to the moon, the grandmother moon. 
So we're almost creating a why above our head. We're connecting to our solar uh, connection of the sun, but now we're also going to have a tangent from our soul star that goes over to the moon. With deep breaths in and out, just set the intention. I am now connecting to Grandmother Moon, wherever she is in the cosmos. Don't worry about directions. Technically, she's beneath us on the other side of the planet. But all you have to imagine is you're connecting to the physical sun and grandmother moon at the same time. The same way as before, you get another trio of a trifecta team. So you get another silver angel, a silver unicorn, and a silver dragon coming out of Grandmother Moon. Imagine this as a larger triangle that actually protects the rainbow one. So they're wider spaced, they're further apart. The angels at the front, in front of your heart, the unicorn to your left, left hip, and the silver dragon to your right, right hip. These are pure silver fire healing platinum diamond fire beings. Some of the purest, most magical energy you can ever access. They are now enveloping all of you, all layers of your auric field, all 4,000 chakras, your mind, body, spirit, emotions, finances, feeling side of life, your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, your karmic body, your etheric body, your ka, and of course your rainbow fire angel, your rainbow fire unicorn, and your rainbow fire dragon. And it's a level of protection. It's a level of access. It's almost a backstage pass to the mystical and magical realms that exist behind veils. And like the other team, they all connect to one another. So the silver fire angel connects to the silver fire uh, unicorn. The unicorn connects to the silver fire dragon. The silver fire dragon is now connecting to the angel. Creating a solid silver fire diamond light perimeter. Breathe that in. And breathe that down. They will direct energy inward to you now, but passing through their representative. So the silver fire angel sends energy to the rainbow fire angel. And through them, it passes to your heart. The silver fire unicorn sends energy to the rainbow fire unicorn who sends the energy to your left side. The right side silver dragon connects to the right side rainbow dragon that connects to your right side and forms a solid walled pyramid of protection. Keep breathing in and keep breathing out.
Stand in your pyramid of power in the very, very center of all this lusciousness, this energy, this cosmic connection. Stand with your feet wide apart, your arms wide open. In your mind's eye, be ready. Tilt your head up and look to the sky or look up in your mind's eye as if you can see a big light, where it's, whether it's the physical sun you can feel or the silver moon or both. And in a moment, you're going to get a pearl dropped from the center of all centers. So cup your hands one on, one on top of the other. And catch the beautiful pearl that is coming down through time and space, almost like a small egg. It's very large, much larger than our human pearls on Earth. Maybe the size of a goose egg or a small dragon egg. But it's a pearl. And I want you to pay attention to its color, its shape, its size. What does it look like and how does it feel to you sitting in the palm of your hands? Keep breathing in and breathing out. What we want to do now is we want to put it in the center of our chest the heart star for safekeeping. And just imagine that it can go softly in and be absorbed into your soft bodies, your energy bodies. And with your hands back down on your lap, I want you to just take a deep breath in and out. Another deep breath in. And out. And I want you to know that seed of new beginning, of the new earth, of the new ascension, of earth's true uh, terrestrial destiny is now activated inside of you. Whatever it means to each of you individually will be different. But now ask for one word, one quality that this pearl represents for you. So say out loud, what does my pearl represent to me? And I got the word hope. You might feel the word love, truth, integrity, freedom, love, joy. It could be any of the higher qualities of living, of divine existence. Whatever your word is, allow that essence, that energy to be part of every breath you take right now. Allow your word to explode its essence all over you. So do this with fire breathing. In the nose, out through the mouth quickly. And relax. This new frequency is now part of your being, your energy, your field. Both hands on your chest and you're going to say thank you, thank you, thank you even if you don't understand what just happened. So on behalf of this group assembled, we release the rainbow fire healing uh, angels, dragons and unicorns. We release the silver fire uh, angels, unicorns and dragons. We release any other intelligent being that supported us today with our gratitude and thanks. 
knowing that at any time we can reconnect back through love and divine exploration. One last time, I want you to feel your earth star and your soul star, four feet beneath you and four feet above you, knowing that you are safe, loved, and protected at all times. I thank Grandmother Moon and the Solar Sun and our own personal guides and angels for being here with us today. I thank Gaia, Panchamama, and release them all. Deep breaths in, everyone. Deep breaths out. I'd like you to bring your attention back to your physical body, back to the here and now, wherever you are. Deep breaths in. Deep breath out. When you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes. And you might blink a little funnier. You might feel a little wobblier. Uh, and those are all normal side effects of a deep meditation. Please drink some water uh, as soon as you can get off this um, experience. Uh, again, don't do any heavy exercises, um, you know, going to the gym or driving right away. Just go to the washroom process clear yourself to have some water and just sort of walk around and get settled back in your body before you do anything physical also know that after energy work it's always a smart idea to take a sea salt bath so sea salts are best for energy medicine uh it's a kind you eat so go get the cheapest kind you can get uh himalayan salt is lovely uh, bulk barn, dollar store, all carry sea salt. So, you know, grab some. Uh, for an adult, it's two cups of sea salt in a bath and you soak. Uh, do not use sea salt if you have any heart conditions, okay? Uh, please don't use Epsom salts. Epsom salts, because the chemicals uh, is great for physical ailments and muscles, uh, not so good with energy um, changes and shifts. So uh, try to get sea salts. Um, and yeah, really kind of look with eyes that are new, ears that are open, and a heart that is connected once again back to its own magic and its own source. Send me um, some feedback here on our video here on AutoBuzz TV. I'm seeing uh, a bunch of thank yous, um, tears flowing, hearts. Thank you, Jenna. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, any questions, send me a, a PM. All right, peace and love. And when it's dark outside, remember to keep the light on. We're here every Tuesday on Tune Up Tuesday with Jen Zen.